Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to create this warm tone golden look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I really like this palette, so by request, I created this look for you guys. So without further ado, let's just get started. So I already primed my skin using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and did my brows. If you guys would like a full brow routine, like I said, let me know. Now I'm taking a piece of tape to create a V-shape for the eyeshadow. To prime my eyes, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and blending it out with the Beauty Blender. To set down my base, I'm taking the shade Golden Ochre on a super big fluffy brush from the Morphe 12 Piece Eye Credible Set 702. This is where all my other eye brushes come from. Then on a fluffy blending brush, I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna and buffing that into my crease. Now I'm taking the shade Real Gar on a flatter blending brush and running that on the outer corner of my crease. Make sure while blending these colors you blend them upward along the tape so that way we can elongate the eye. I also just realized while editing this video that I'm filming the wrong eye. I was supposed to film the eye that was closer to the mirror and I really really apologize. I, I don't even know what to say about it. Like I just, I'm so dumb. The last step on the eyes for now is taking the shade Primavera on a flat shader brush and running that from my inner corner about two thirds of the way in on the lid. Keep in mind that I take a fluffy blending brush between every step to make sure everything is blended. For foundation, I'm taking two pumps of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in shade number 8 and blending that out with my Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm taking the same concealer we used earlier and highlighting in all the places that I usually would, then blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Taking my beauty blender again, I'm going to set all the places we concealed with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Instead of baking, I press my translucent powder into my skin with the beauty blender. I find that this gives the most natural and seamless look with the same effect. Next, I'm taking my Morphe E43 brush and a little bit more of the powder to set the rest of my face. If you don't have to set the rest of your face, I suggest you don't. The only reason that I do is because my foundation tends to slip and slide. To lightly define my face, I'm taking the Too Faced Star Chocolate Soleil Bronzer on a Kat Von D shade and light brush. To warm up my face even more, I'm taking the same bronzer on the same powder brush I used earlier and running that in all the same places. To finish up the eyes, I'm taking the shade Real Gar again on the flat side of the Urban Decay Naked Basics brush and running that across my lash line. On a small pencil brush, I'm taking the shades Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange to blend everything out. Now I'm taking a Becca Cosmetics Press Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal on the same brush and putting that in my inner corner. I'm also taking it on a flat natural hair brush to highlight my brow bone on a Morphe M310 to lightly highlight my forehead, nose, cupid's bone, and chin. To highlight my cheekbones, I'm using the M501 brush. And then to highlight the tip of my nose, I'm using my finger. For my lips, I'm taking Oh Honey by MAC and placing a little bit of highlighter on the center of my lips. To finish off the look, I'm taking two coats of the Sephora Collection Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. I didn't put the clip in, but I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set my eyebrows. And I sprayed my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with the Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. 
So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow all of my social medias. They'll be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.